Uh, hi guys, it's Nathaniel coming at you with a football manager series. Um, I decided to do one in the end, like, because I haven't never really done a commentary before, so I thought, you know, it'd be fun. It's a game that I like, so I thought I'd try it. Um, I decided to go as Brisbane Roar from the Australian League. The reason why is because usually I'm always teams from like the Championship, maybe like Crystal Palace or something, or maybe in the Premiership like Chelsea, Serie A. La Liga or stuff like that, so I thought I'd try a different league because it kind of brings a new dimension to the game, makes it more fun because you don't really know anything about the league, don't know any players, so I thought it'd be interesting. Um, so yeah, Brisbane Roar is the team that I chose. Quickly go look at their information. Media prediction sixth, squad determined. So then, by all means, nothing special. Um, sixth in the league, you know that's. Just below, uh, just below half. I mean, there's ten teams in the league, I think. So, I mean, I was going to choose Melbourne Victory because they were uh, media prediction was first, but I thought no, it'd be too easy. So, yeah. And if you have a look here, I mean, pretty decent stadium capacity as well. That's what I like because you can pull in some money from um, big games that's, that sell out. So, yeah. So I'll quickly show you my squad, or more like my tactics, really. So we're playing a 4-2-3-1. Uh, the two, the left and right attacking mids to support the striker, and the guy just behind who can support him as well as finish. So, and then you got your back four who are always pushing back. So it's kind of a evenly balanced, as it says there, balanced stra uh, philosophy. So um, ends up leading to me scoring goals and being able to defend. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the transfers. Have happened. Alright, uh, the first thing that I want to show you is Pinger. Now, I got him in on a free, which is pretty, pretty, well, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, if you have a look at his stats, I mean, look at that 16 dribbling, 16 free kick taking, 17 passing, 18 techniques, uh, 18 flair, stuff like that, 16 creativity, you know, it's pretty amazing. So, I knew he was going to be something special for us, and I saw his value was 1.7 mil, and I thought, if an offer comes in for that, I'm going to accept it. That's a lot of money for this club. But then Lil ended up coming in for an offer for 3.1 mil, and I thought, fine, you can go, but the board already accepted it anyway, so he was gone before I knew it. But, you know, 3.1 mil, the, the club seemed to have pocketed most of the money, which pretty pissed me off. But, oh, well, you know, it's more money for the club, so. And this one as well. Syed, what's his name? Syed Mohammed Syed Adnan. There you go. Um, brilliant all-round player. Wanted to keep him. Board accepted the offer you know, on my behalf. <laughs> Pretty annoying, but 900k didn't really mind. I would play him as well. Uh, so first player that bought him was Kaz. Nothing special. Just really a squad player. As you can see, uh, stuff like flair 14, technique 14. It's really what you want in a midfielder. Um, so yeah, just a squad player. Just in case anyone gets injured. Call many. Uh, worst decision of my life to bring in. I mean, we've just been homesick all the time. You and sending him home to fucking Cameroon. It's just really annoying. Um, then we got Mark Bridge, who's been a godsend for me. Appearances: 20, 18 goals in the league. 18 appearances, 17 goals. Pretty amazing. Good finishing, good acceleration. That's what you want in the striker. Um, then this guy uh, bought him in as well. 13 finishing. 13 acceleration, 13 pace, uh, 3 goals and 3 appearances, I only play him when Mark Bridge is injured or other players are injured and I need him to kind of fill in. Then I brought in a young guy called Cristaldo, um, first thing that I thought, Cristaldo is just like a mixture between Cristiano and Ronaldo, I don't know if each made me want to buy him, maybe he could be the next one, you never know, <laughs> well not with those stats but uh, at the end of the day, you know, just looking for the future, can't really bring in any sick youth players so that was good enough for now. Um, and yeah, so I'll take you through fixtures. I'm not going to go through all of them because that will take a bloody long time. Um, scroll up. <laughs> Alright, so we started off the friendly campaign with a 4 2 result to Super Sport. Now, I haven't uploaded my Pentagon series, but I've actually got it on my computer somewhere. But um, the South African League, when I was in there, Super Sport always used to whoop me. Like, I mean, what? Like, 5 mil and stuff like that. So, to beat them 4 2, I was bloody happy. So, I had Mohamed Sayed scoring two goals, proving that he could take advantage of the corner glitch. 
down then, yeah, all these games were way too, all hammerings because I don't really know any of the teams. Pretty happy with the 7-0 though. I wasn't really happy with the rest because, you know, it's just friendly, don't really care. Obviously Danny who ended up becoming the young player of the season at the end of the season anyway, so he's proven to be quite the lethal player. Not that good statistic wise, but he's not he's not bad. So Berisha, who's become probably my best goal scorer. Pretty amazing player. Uh, look at that, twelve appearances, twelve goals. Pretty good. Um <laughs> dominated that game totally. Um so our first game which was Sydney FC versus um versus us obviously. <laughs> Four 0 Away from home as well to a very prolific team and they're obviously well known in Australia, but look at that, Berisha with three goals. Sayed, Sayed with 60, well yeah, 65 goals and one goal. Huh. Pretty dominant performance again. 5 1 to Gold Coast United at home. Pretty happy with this. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Russia with 2 again. Sayed, game 1. They got sending off, kind of changed the game, but you know, still good to always win them. Then we've got 1 all draw there, which is pretty decent. A one victory, three all draw. Pretty damn happy with this because they're predicted first in the league, and this is away from home. So when one nil down in the first minute, I thought it was going to be terrible. Marisha helped me again. Two goals proved to be very costly. I mean, not costly, but they, they proved to help us. Um, pretty even game, as you can see. Shots, shots on target, possession, and you know, pretty even. Thought three all was a fair result. Uh, then we lost to Central Coast Mariners, two nil. That game pissed me off. I don't like losing at home. I always like to win when I'm um, at home. I can lose when I'm away, I don't care, but to win at home is just what I want. This result turned out to be one of the most surprising of the season. 9 0 over Wellington Phoenix. Now, if you have a look, I'll show you the table later, but this team are actually second, I believe. They beat them 9 0, which is amazing. Four goals from Mark Bridges when he became prolific. Two goals from Pingo as well, same thing with him. I really want that ping out back now. <laughs> um, 4 1 to Newcastle Jets, 4 2 to Perth Glory, uh, 3 0 to Sydney, 4 1 Melbourne Heart. Then I lost to uh, Wellington Phoenix 2 1. So as you can see, nine to go from 9 0 to lose 2 1 is a bit weird. 2 0, uh, 3 0 to Gold Coast United, 2 0 to Melbourne Victory, who aren't doing too good this season, I don't think. Uh, 2 0 to Perth Glory, 3 0 to I have no idea how to pronounce that team name. <laughs> but as you can see there, it's a good run of results. I mean, oh, from there actually. Crap. From here. Well, kind of like these lot of results, you know. There, you know, not conceding a goal. Home and away. Pretty damn amazing. Love to do that. Absolutely love to do that. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. As you can see, pretty dominant performance though. Two all there. Uh, 3 0 to Melbourne Heart. 4 1 to Newcastle Jets. Uh, this is when it kind of went a bit funny. 0 0 and 2 0. But I managed to pick out of that. 3 2. And then I didn't even realise we were in the Champions League. Well, happy when I found this out. Um, we're actually 4 0 up. And thought we were going to go on to win 6 or 7 0. But then they ended up pushing on and our team kind of just fell asleep. But this guy has proven to be amazing. I mean, look at him. 32 years old, but 14 finishing. Look at that. One appearance, three goals, and that's just against me. <laughs> I actually tried to put in a bid for him, but I saw the price and he didn't even have the money. Because obviously they pocketed all the money from the pinger. So, that's one thing about this team is that I don't get a lot of money to spend, so I have to rely on free transfers. Plus, 3 1 to Path Glory, which was annoying because I beat them 2 0 way early on in the season. Um, as you can see, well, in the sixth minute, we came straight back, and I thought that was going to be it. We were probably do it again. They scored another early goal. Then this injury to Matt Smith, our centre defensive midfielder, really screwed us over. When that happened, the game just, they just started dominating and dominating and dominating. Um, then we got a 2 1 win to Melbourne Heart. Pretty happy with this. Uh, it's nothing special, but you know. And then a 1 all away to this Chinese team that I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Well, I've had no whole track. Gangzu or something like that. <laughs> um, pretty very even game, I mean they dominated us in possession but pretty even game shots wise um, one always a justified result but if you have a look, well I'm happy with one all away if you have a look at their team, the only reason I know them is because of one player 
Oh, they got liquid manager. I don't know if that's from real life or not, but if you have a look here, Dario Conga. This guy, I knew him from FIFA 10, playing for one of the Brazilian teams. Look at that, 16 dribbling, 17 free kick takings, 17 techniques, 17 flair, 17 creativity. <sighs> Bloody main player, two more value. Brilliant player, love him in real life. Um, just a great player. Um, so I was really happy to get away with a, a draw there. Um, so yeah, that's it for uh, fixtures wise. Now I'll show you the, the league table. So as you can see, we're sitting in first. Really happy with that. 16 1, 5 drawn, 3 lost. Very solid um, set of stats there. 67 goals scored. Beats anyone in the league by a long shot. Uh, 24 conceded. Again, beats anyone by a long shot. 43 goal difference. Look at that. 43 to 19. It's <laughs> terrible. But we're only winning by 3 points. But they have got a game. Oh, we've got a game in hand over them. So but there you go. We're in St. Phoenix. They are second in the league. We end up being on 9 0, so that's pretty good. Um, home record, top. Away record, top. Combined, obviously, we're going to be top. Last five games, we're actually fifth, so we really started sinking in, in recent weeks, which is not good. But hopefully, we'll be able to continue that on until the end of the season. I'm really hoping, anyway. Uh, so, fixtures wise. Not too many left in the league and quite a few in Champions League. Hopefully, we'll push on, maybe get into at least the semi finals of the Champions League. That's what I'm aiming for. But yeah, so that's it for my first video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any criticisms, you know, post them below. Uh, if you've got anything good to say, post it below. It's always good to, you know, be able to take on all your criticisms or compliments and, you know, give me something to that motivates me, something that makes me want to make another video, makes me want to try again harder, um, so yeah, and if you want me to be another team and start another series, then post a team name down below, tell people to like it, people like it, um, I'll choose that team and I'll do it, uh, I'm always up for a challenge, always up to try new leagues, so, um, yeah, just let me know down below, uh, so yeah, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. I'll see you in the next video, which I'll hopefully upload sometime this week, maybe next week. Alright, take care guys. Bye.